<laughs> Hello friends, welcome to a new happy learning video. Today, we're going to get to know the engine in our body. Today, we're going to get to know the human heart. The heart is the most special muscle we have. It's situated a little to the left from the center of our chest, between our lungs, and is in an oblique position, positioned diagonally. We say that it's very special because it sends blood all over our body. Blood delivers oxygen and nutrients we need to live to all of our cells. Our heart is a type of pump. Like the ones we use to inflate the wheels on our bikes. The only thing is that instead of pumping air, it pumps blood. The heart is divided into two parts. The right part and the left part, separated by a cellular wall, so they are not connected internally. Each one of these parts has two chambers or cavities. The upper cavities are called right and left atrium and the lower cavities are called right and left ventricle. The heart also has four kind of doors which are called valves. These valves open to let blood in and they close so this blood can't go back. Now we've got to know the most important parts of the heart, but do you know how it works? It all commences in the right atrium, where the deoxygenated blood, meaning it has very little oxygen and nutrients, enters the heart. Then it goes through the first valve up to the right ventricle. Once it is here, the heart sends the blood directly to the lungs. And it's in this moment where the blood is oxygenated and it's filled with oxygen and nutrients. When it is already oxygenated, it goes back to the heart, reaching the left atrium. From where it will pass through the third valve until the last cavity, the left ventricle. Finally, the heart sends this now oxygenated blood through the fourth and last valve towards the rest of the body and it starts again. To understand how our heart beats, we only need to imagine that our hand is a heart and that when it opens up, it fills up with blood. And when it's closed, it pumps that blood outwards. When blood exits our heart, it flows through a whole body, through blood vessels, and there are three types. Arteries, veins, and capillary vessels. Arteries deliver oxygen and nutrients-rich blood to all our organs in our body. Veins take that blood, low in oxygen, back to the heart. And the capillary vessels, which are very small, connected arteries with veins and cells. Fun fact! Do you know approximately how much a human heart weighs? Well, it's 450 grams, almost half a kilo. The truth is that the heart is the engine in our circulatory system and is an incredibly strong muscle. It's able to beat more than 100,000 times a day. So cool! 
we can't say goodbye without giving you a tip. We need to take care of our heart and that's why we need to do physical exercise, we need to eat healthy foods and please never ever smoke. It's the worst thing you can do to hurt your heart. Goodbye friends, see you in the next happy learning video. Great! You've completed the video. Now continue the route with the reading card, the video game, and the activity. Hello, friends! Welcome to a new Happy Learning video. Today, we're going to learn about the circulatory system of the human body. The main function of the circulatory system is to carry through the blood the nutrients to the cells of our body. It is formed by the heart, arteries and veins. And its proper functioning is essential for us to have good health. I have a curiosity. Do you know how much all of the arteries and veins would measure together put in single file? They would measure 96,000 kilometers, which would be equivalent to almost two and a half laps of the year. It's incredible, right? The heart has the main role in making sure that the blood travels around the body. With its 100,000 pulsations per day, it ensures that blood circulates throughout our body, allowing it to distribute oxygen and nutrients into our cells. We're going to start a journey through the circulatory system so we can understand it much better. The journey of blood begins in the heart. With the pulsations of the heart, the blood comes out through one of the greatest highways of the circulatory system, called the aorta. From that moment, blood flows through our body, through many veins. During this trip, the blood is delivering oxygen and nutrients to the cells through the capillaries. It reaches the neck, head and brain through one side. From there, the blood continues to flow into our arms, then through the aorta, around the thorax and abdomen and finally reaching both of our legs. As this trip is circular, that is to say it has no end, the blood starts the trip back to the heart to regain nutrients and oxygen. The blood that returns from the lower part of the body flows through the inferior vena cava. The one that returns from the arms and head travels through the superior vena cava. All that blood reaches the lungs where it gets oxygenated and returns back to the heart. There, the journey starts again. The truth is that it is incredible that blood is permanently travelling inside our body. Don't you think? Well, now you know a little bit more about the circulatory system. But before saying goodbye, we want to remind you that for our body to work well, we have to do a lot of physical exercise and have a balanced diet. You have to eat vegetables, fruit and fish, and reduce eating sugar and sweets as much as you can. And of course, spend less time sitting in front of the TV or the computer. So now you all know. Right, now everyone, go to run and jump. Goodbye friends! Oh, and do not forget to subscribe to Happy Learning TV. Search us and subscribe to Happy Learning's YouTube channel.